um, I'm just coming back and doing another tutorial that I noticed I put on social media and didn't do a tutorial and I really wanted to do this tutorial so yeah um it's just you'll see so stay tuned as always you're gonna first use your primer next eyeshadow base in white um, my face is already done I'm just gonna do the eyes on the chin to the CoverGirl Queen and Ebony Bronze. This is like holy grail kind of stuff. <laughs> We're just going to warm up the eyes a bit, the outer corners here, and just kind of sweep that and blend at the same time with the MAC 224 blending brush. I'm going to go to the Wet n Wild palette here. And we're going to take the, where it says crease, this purple color right here. This palette is called Flirting at the After Party. And all your, it's like a limited edition, I believe. And all the names of the palettes is at the top. You're going to take a flat shader brush like this. And we're just going to dip it in the product here. You're only going to apply this in the outer in the inner portion of your eye. At the top, you want to connect and leave this space open. take our MAC 224 blending brush and we're just going to blend only the edges out into the bronzer that we placed the first shadow. We're going to only define the outer corners and the inner corners um, with this color here. You're going to take a pencil brush. This is called a contour brush by e.l.f. and it just looks like this. It's a pencil kind of brush some of that color that definer color from wet and wild palette and only put it at like the tip of the edge Our blending brush and just blend the edges out once again just to blend that dark color into our skin into the other shadows. Switching gears and going to another Wet n Wild palette, and this one is called Walking the Red Carpet. This bright gold that says eyelid on here. Take your same flat shader brush, flip it on the other side, and dip it into that color. You're gonna place that right in the empty spot that we left open. And you want to pack this color because it, it kind of reacts like a um, like a pigment. I'm gonna take our MAC 224 blending brush one more time and we're going to just blend again at the top. It's okay if you get some gold at the crease right here because we're just going to cover that up with the purple shadows that you use. Then, where you basically sandwich the three colors together, you're going to use your blending brush and then just press down on the edges here so it doesn't look like a, a line, two lines on either side, like one line here. You're just going to press that down. You go to the lighter color right here flat shader brush and we're just going to repeat the steps when we use the first purple color which is a little bit darker than this one we're just going to bring it out some more for blending brush again and then just blend the edges to the definer color and reapply the, that dark color at the edge. And blend 
the edges again. I take another blending brush. This is just a, I got this from school. Go to your powder. This is my stay matte but not flat in chestnut. You apply on your brow bone here. And then we're gonna pretty much do the same on the bottom. We're gonna start with the finer, the smudger brush, and the inner corner. And we're gonna leave the middle open. We're gonna use an angled brush. We're gonna go into the gold that we use on our lid, and we're going to place that in the middle. the glitter and all that stuff off from the gold uh, shadow you're just going to take a regular flat top brush and just flick it off lashes is already on uh, it's the wispy wsp lashes by cherry blossom love super super love wispy lashes is it's just enough glam that's all you need I move on to the lips wet and wild dollhouse pink here line my lips with mariposa and deep purple look i hope you like it and it's just it's very pretty i think um yeah if you, you can opt it out with a new lip that will look pretty a new lip that fits your uh, skin tone of course like not no random i'm just gonna pick up a new lip new lipstick and whatever um yeah so i decided to pair the pink the bright pink lipstick with a darker um purple because my lips is very wide and i wanted to make the focal point like my lips kind of um and just have some kind of depth to it so it's not so overbearing and kind of flow with um the other colors on my eyes they kind of complement each other i think they do <laughs> so yeah i hope you like this look and I hope you stay tuned for some more, more, more looks. If you have any requests, leave them down in the comment box and I'll be sure to do them. Okay? Peace.